Seven fights, seven victories, four of them coming my way of knockout. The first time I ever got into the ring, I realized I was good. I realized I loved boxing. National champion, yeah, yeah. and three-time world amateur champion, Haley, from Detroit, Michigan. I think in order to be one of the best, you have to love boxing, like, genuinely, like, from the heart. And I love boxing. I couldn't do, I couldn't do anything else. Introducing John Nelson, Figaroa Okachika. Boxing is the art to me. Boxing isn't just about aggression, about who's stronger, who's faster. There's a lot more to boxing than just throwing blows. Yeah, I'm a professional boxer, started at 17. I just signed with Holly Field um, about a month ago. Man, it's, it's a dream because Evander Holyfield is a big name, but just to be even a bigger name, I'm trying to be a bigger name than him. I train every day. When I was 10 years old, it was my first time ever coming to downtown boxing. I was looking for sparring. And they said the best sparring, best boxing was in downtown boxing. So I ended up coming to downtown boxing and getting work, and I just stayed there ever since. I mean, I'm Puerto Rican, so, so to my mom's side, everybody was a boxer growing up. And on my dad's side as well, everybody was a boxer. My dad taught me everything I know. He taught me, he taught me how to walk. Since he was a kid, you know, I, I got him running on the street. He's running, and I'm, I'm behind him in my car. It's great for me because nobody's gonna push you harder than your dad. Nobody, nobody cares for you as much as your dad. Some people will help you get to a certain point, but nobody wants you to get better than them. So it's always great to have your dad in your corner. I'm a father, you know, out of the ring, in the ring, but when he's gonna fight, you know, it's different, I'm his trainer. Excuse me. Making me, making me laugh. <laughs> Making me laugh. <laughs> I'm pushing hard here to speak English with you guys. You're making funny of me. Salte para allá, vente para allá donde tú estabas. Well, when I first met him, he was, a, he was a little baby, basically. He was 10 years old, you know what I mean? So this is like every little kid, he running around, full of energy. And, um, but he had something special right then. You know, that energy, he translated that energy into success. You know, under the guidance of his father, who was an excellent coach, uh, a great mentor to his son and the kids around him. They produced the champion, a winning kid all the way around. Every win is a rush. Um, you feel proud of yourself. You're proud of yourself for all the sacrifices you put your body through and your mind, everything. That's my present, you know, when he wins. I just want to be, he be a champion. You know, that's all I want. Thank God he got, you know, somebody to, you know, help him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's still bothering you. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what I can do. This kid right here is, was born gifted. He was born with something special. And um, not only that, he has something special also, which is his father. Somebody to, to take that talent and, and create something beautiful. You know what I mean? So he was bound, destined to be great anyway. I mean, it's in the blood. That's him. Born to box. <laughs> Born to be successful at whatever yeah. he put his mind to.